Welcome to another Scottish Watches video. Today we've got an interesting piece on the table and we've lined up the time telling on it so hopefully within about a minute's time you'll get to see something pretty special. On the line we've got Pietro from the limited edition. He has sent up a number of watches, some you may have already seen on the channel, some you're about to see on the channel and here we have a Gerald Genta watch. Obviously a name that if you're into watches you'll know all about, but as it almost hits the 60 mark, you want to be keeping an eye in the centre of the screen. So before it kicks, do you want to tell us a little bit about the man, the brand and this watch? Hi Ricky, good to be with you again. Yes, thank you for letting us share some of, uh, you know, one of the most uh, amazing pieces I've had the chance to, uh, uh, to have at the limited edition since we started in 2015, because we try not only to share the love for independent watch making, contemporary watchmakers and contemporary brands, but we also try to help our collectors to source and find some of the uh, most amazing timepieces that have been um, produced and are most collectible on the market, like this anniversary piece related and linked to the name of Gerald Genta, which is a humbling, a very humbling name to even mention when you're talking about uh, uh, watchmaking. And did you happen to see what happened there? If you didn't, well, what we saw, and you can rewind the video and look again, and we will show you again shortly, is the big hand in the centre moved all the way from the 60 right back to the zero, and the error indicator in the centre at the top increased by one so this is what you call a retrograde function, isn't it? Absolutely. We're going to go into the details of, uh, of that because this is the fruit of the genius mind of Gerald Genta when, of course, uh, after becoming uh, the legend who he is as a, as a watch designer, you know, having the, um, the brilliance to create models, to design models such as the Patek Philippe Nautilus or the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak, he's uh, is been then continuing his journey by creating his own brand with his own name throughout the 90s and the 2000s and the arena by retro that you can see here is one of her finest examples and most recognizable pieces bearing the actual Gerald Genta name on the on the dial now this special piece Ricky is a 50th anniversary tribute made by Bulgari and why by Bulgari because Bulgari actually acquired the name of Gerald Genta when the brand uh, Gerald Genta and the brand Daniel Roth went into to administration back in 10 years ago or slightly over 10 years ago and uh, they continued using the inspiration of Gerald Genta to create some of their most important timepieces you can think of the current Bulgari uh, watchmaking production and you can clearly see the influence of both Gerald Genta and Daniel Roth so this is a boutique only uh, edition 50th anniversary in Platinum, a remake of the Arena by Retro, which is uh, two collectors, you know, one of the most important timepieces related to Gerald Genta, when you exclude, of course, the collaborations with Patek Philippe or IWC or Audemars Piguet. Right. That explains why when I picked it up, it was a little bit heavy. So it's solid platinum. Absolutely. It's a solid platinum. It's full of details, Ricky. You were pointing out, obviously, the mechanical functions. Do you want to take me through? the dial side because we'll get to the back side later that's quite nice looking but the dial side is where all the funky stuff is going on so to explain this to the layman so when Gerald Genta came with this model, the Arena, he worked on a double retrograde function uh, with the indication of the hours in the aperture at 12 o'clock. So you see in this case, the hour is uh, 6 o'clock on your image and it's 3 minutes past 6. There is also another additional uh, retrograde indication, which is the day of the month, which you can spot at the traditional six o'clock mm -hmm. position. So double retrograde indication and indication of the hours at uh, at 12 o'clock. Um, the amount of detail is amazing in terms of the decoration of the, and the finishing of this piece, Ricky. I, I'm sure you can appreciate how the dial, which is a handmade blue lacquering, reacts with the light, creating oh, yeah. different patterns of blue, actually. So it's a work of fine lacquering that makes the dial uh, really, really uh, alive. Yeah, the dial is something to behold. And not even just the dial, I'm liking the applied indices and the way that they've got rounded corners and reminds me of maybe a Cadillac or a big American muscle car from the 50s or 60s, something like that. Absolutely. You could see how with his own brand, Gerald Genta was looking at uh, 
a breakthrough in terms of uh, visual impact of the watch, yeah. uh, the functions uh, that were uh, obviously equipping the the arena that we're seeing we're seeing here, and of course it was a massive. Um, I can say a massive uh, innovation in those days to come up with this kind of uh, this kind of layout in independent watchmaking. Same applies for the famous. There are some versions of uh, of uh, Gerald Genta's work with uh, Mickey Mouse, for example, showing showing the time as well. So a, a level of creativity that was really really high. So Bulgari decided to offer this timepiece for uh, only through the network of their uh, own boutiques. So we we don't know exactly because it's not officially a limited edition. We know that more or less 50 pieces may have been produced. And they again, they've only gone to private collectors through their network of boutiques. The reason why we get hold of a piece like this is because obviously within our network of collectors, uh, we have access to pieces that, uh, you know, are not basically on the market. We enjoy doing that very much. So typically, always we offer pieces in mint conditions, like the piece you can, you can see here, with a full set, of course, with all the papers. And we also put a warranty on our side to make sure that you obviously can purchase in, uh, you know, with the right peace of mind. Right, this looks like, I, I thought it was unworn. This looks like a brand new watch. It's as good as you would uh, you would find it, and actually you wouldn't find it generally. So <laughs> that's as good as it can be found, if you like. The reference number of this Bulgari fiftieth anniversary Gerald Genta uh, Arena by Retro is one zero three one nine one. It's a platinum case with a sapphire crystal case back. It is an automatic caliber by Bulgari called BLV 300. The case I mentioned is 41 millimeters and the dial is um, fine hand lacquering uh, in a color blue. The blue actually reacts to the light and creates different patterns depending on the conditions of the light. The functions include jumping hours, retrograde minutes and retrograde date. And uh, the strap description is a blue alligator with a nice platinum folding buckle. So even the, the buckle, you know, the buckle itself uh, Ricky would be five, <laughs> five grand just for the buckle when you're talking about you know these small, small numbers. Um, 42 hours power reserve and 100 meters uh, water resistant, covered by the limited edition warranty. And if people want to find out more about the limited edition yourself and the different pieces that you have, where can they go? So Instagram, we try to be very active, thelimitededition.uk, sharing contents and interacting with uh, both our guests and our followers is a place where we have a lot of fun talking about uh, independent watchmaking. Then, uh, of course, the website is thelimitededition.co.uk. We represent over 30 brands officially, and we have an array of collectible pieces like the one you're seeing here that we um, source from our network of uh, collectors. That's fantastic. Well, thank you very much for bringing this piece along and all the other pieces that you have given us a loan of for a couple of days to get some video and some photography shot. So thank you very much, Pietro, and we will catch you in the next video. Thank you, Ricky. See you very soon. All the best.